and today we're taking a look at how to install or replace a GFCI outlet. So you just notice your GFCI outlet has gone bad or that your regular outlet is too close to the water. Don't worry, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at how to install or replace one. GFCI stands for Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter which helps to prevent electrical shock. And if you know anything about electrical shock, you know that's not good. So anything that prevents you from getting shock is a good thing. So as they say in Die Hard, it's a good day to be alive. Because we don't wanna say like Rocky, if he dies, he dies. If you're interested in installing GFCI outlet, we're gonna leave a link on the description where you could get one. And these are the things that you're gonna need for today. A current detector or multimeter, a screwdriver, and your GFCI outlet. In case your outlet is next to a switch, you might need to get a new cover, which is GFCI outlet and a regular switch. But if you only have an outlet, you don't have to worry. In the box, you would get the cover. And remember, safety is the most important thing. That's why you always want to verify that you don't have electricity in the outlet before working on it. So that means the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and turn off the breakers. And now we could work without a worry. Let's go ahead and remove the screws and the faceplate. Now we could go ahead and verify for a second time that we don't have electricity on the outlet. We don't get any beeps or lights. So that means we're good. We can go ahead and remove the screws that hold the outlet to the wall. We go ahead and pull the outlet from the wall and now proceed to unscrewing the screws that hold in the wire. We are gonna go ahead and start with the black wire first. We go ahead and remove the screw that holds in the white wire. And finally, we remove the screw that holds in the ground. Now that we remove the old outlet, now we could get the new outlet to place it in. We have our new faceplate handy. At the bottom of the switch, we have the green screw, which is for the ground. We have our bronze or copper looking screw, and that is used for our live wire, which in our case is the black wire. At the other side, we have the silver looking screw, and that is for our non live wire, which in our case is the white one. But if in your case you have four wires, you would have to remove the yellow sticker to get to the load wires, meaning that the ones without the sticker are the line wires and the one covered by the sticker are the load wires. And to find out which is your line wire out of the two black wires, that would be the one that has electricity. And to do that, you would have to turn on the breaker and verify which one is the one with electricity, meaning that the black wire without electricity is your load wire. In our case, we only have two wires, so that means we don't have to do that. Let's go ahead and connect the ground first. And we do that by placing the wire around the screw and tighten it. And remember, that's the green screw. Now we go ahead and install the white wire And now we could finally install the black wire. And remember, we wanna make sure that all screws are well tightened. We're almost done. We can go ahead and take the outlet and screw it to the wall. We can go ahead now and place the screws and the faceplate. Now you can pat yourself in the back for a job well done. 
Now once again, you regain control of the fort. As a great king or queen or both or none, you deserve that ice cold, refreshing, cool to the touch bottle of water. We can test the system by placing a lamp or anything to the outlet. We can test by pressing the reset button and the test button on the new outlet. If it tests and resets, that means it's working well. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.